Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arc Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can work with new version of Prom AI, which you can see in this website here. Prom AI is one of the best, useful, fast and reliable AIs for architectures and designers. So say goodbye to the rendering engines. In this case, I'm going to show you how we can create exterior render with Prom AI and you can consume less energy on the uh, designing and rendering. So, in this case, I'm going to show you this house, all the details which modeled in the uh, sketch of 2024 and you can see windows, doors, openers and all the things are done in here. So, I'm going to click on the uh, camera, in this case, position camera. So I'm going to hold it someplace like that and move it a little bit, something like this. As you can see, if I click on the zoom option, I can zoom out and change my viewer perspective. So click on the look around in here and type 1.8 or even 2 meter for your eye height. So I'm going to click on the uh, selection tool, camera and change it to the two-point perspective for the uh, accurate and straight camera shot. So I'm going to press Ctrl S, this file will be saved for me. So now I'm going to start my rendering very simple and easy. So I'm going to click on the uh, paint bucket in here, click on the uh, styles option, click on the edit. And in here, I need to convert it a little bit to the uh, sketchy image in my job. So click on the depth queue, extensions and then points and you can see what really happens. So maybe it's hard for AI to understand these type of surfaces with some sick lines in here. So I decided to turn off all of them. Only profile can be useful for us. In the face setting you can see some multiple options. I prefer to use display hidden line or even textured or shader line in here. If I click on the ambient occlusion, it can divide sep uh, separated different surfaces in the uh, 3D model. So try to play with the distance and intensity and you can see what really happened inside your job. Next item before we create our export in this case is the uh, some option which name is background setting. I'm going to turn off the uh, sky and now it's much better. So come back to the environment. You can change your background to the uh, fully white color in here. I prefer this one. Click on the uh, this option in here, which name is watermark setting. It's not really important. And finally, we have this option in here. I want to turn off the model axis, so it helps me to manage my job much separately. So close it in here, close it in this shot. And now I'm going to click on the file, export, 2D graphic, and it takes a little bit of time. I want to select my place, for example, in the downloads. I want to save it Prom AI training file number one. Click on the options, turn off the use view size, try to adjust your resolution. I want to create some high resolution, for example, 2200, and the height is automatically changed. Line scale can be customized to the one. X or maybe 1.4 until is on and I need better quality. So click on the OK, click on the export. It takes a little bit of time and export will be done for us. So in the Perm AI website, you have multiple options for using. In the AI tools, if you click on it, you can see what really happened inside there. We can use the uh, sketch rendering, which helps us a lot. AI image generator consistency rendering, HD upscaler, and different type of valuable options which you can see in the Prom AI. So if you want to use the Prom AI, the link of this website below this video and you can buy the account because the prices are wonderful and you can use it in your different projects and it's really fast. So I'm going to click on the uh, generating tool in here, sketch rendering. It takes a bit of time and after that you can see what really happens. So there are different type of things in here which you can see. Floor plan, exterior render or even isometric render. But we don't have any work with them. From the left side in here, if I click on the image bar, I can upload my first image in here. So I'm going to click on it in here. 
click on the Prom AI training number one, click on the open. Let us start uploading these options for me and now you can see what really happened. So it's uploaded for us and now time for writing prompt. In here you have multiple options for your job and you can see this is the only examples. We don't have any work with them. I want to select this one. Click on the prompt option and I want to start my prompt writing for the AI. So, for example, I want to start my sentence with this. Realistic exterior rendering with modern house design materials, comma, good and real sun and sky light, comma, and after that I want to mention this point, the center of this yard is a pool with blue water, comma, Consider these plants and vegetations. Consider these plants and vegetations in rendering, comma. And finally, I want to write, make it realistic and wonderful. So, in the reference image, you can add some any type of reference set you have, but right now we don't need it. In the options, we have V1 and V2, which can be worked separately, but in this case, I only want to click on the style, realistic, it's selected for me. In the scene option, I want to use architecture, especially some type of maybe residence building, can be more match with it. And in the mood option, we have multiple structures and differences. For example, first one is the structure and second one is the precise outline. I want to select this one. I think it's more better for my job. And in this case, everything is good. In the outline, you can see what really happened. So creativity, if I increase the creativity uh, it will pay more attention to my prompt, but the reality of this value will be changed sometimes. So try to manage it by experience. I want to use 4T, for example, advances on. Negative prompts, for example, bad crop, comma, bad shape, or bad volumes. I think uh, there are enough. All right. In this case, we have perspective and lighting. I can click under perspective and you can see what really happened in here. I prefer to don't use it for some reasons because it's not really matched with the architecture project right now. But in the lighting, you can use some type of lightings if you have some type of camera shots like this. But I don't want to use them so I'm going to click on the generate to see what really happened. It takes a little bit of time. You can see you will get three multiple options and alternatives for your project and prompt. Uh, all right. As you can see, I think the result is completely wonderful and incredible. This is the first image. This is the second image. And this is the third image. So as you can see, it completely understand very well in some points. For example, in this case, we have these windows in here, which are completely good. But in this case, for example, it adds some windows. So it's related to the creativity and some other things like that. But totally, I can say that it is really, really wonderful. So as you can see, this is three alternative images which we have in here. It's really fantastic. So I'm going to download it in here, for example, the preview download and this is the uh, result of our job as you can see in here 
I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If this tutorial is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for your time. Thanks for valuable watching. Don't forget to visit Prom AI website and goodbye.